A whitefish man has created a new type of rocket for outer space that he believes could save on money and fuel. And as MTN's Marin Sue tells us, his design has grabbed the attention of NASA. This is a brand new type of rocket designed for space. Engineer and vice president of Mars Engines based in Whitefish says it's different than the rockets that are used now. Take any surrounding fluid, uh, meaning air, dust, uh, it could be water, it could be a dense atmosphere of a planet like Jupiter, and it can use that to gain uh, efficiency. With a love for space and aeronautics, Mars founder and Whitefish resident Aaron Davis says the idea came to him and he decided to see where it could lead. It's just always been a passion of mine. Always been big into uh, aircraft, you know, power plants. Davis says Mars engine rockets could drastically decrease the cost and the amount of fuel necessary to travel to space. Fuel, heat, and an oxidizer in order to have fire. And uh, rockets have to carry all of this with them. So if we can cut down on the amount of uh, oxidizer and perhaps the amount of fuel required to uh, achieve a work, then that would significantly increase our ability to get things in this space payload to orbit. Stegman and Davis created the design for the rocket and tested it, which caught the eye of NASA. They've been in talks with NASA to figure out Mars engine's next step. We will be testing a large scale cryogenic engine either this fall or this winter, and that will move us on the proof of concept to actual something that we can deploy. For Stegman, this has been a dream come true. When I was a little kid, I guess, I, I loved rockets and the Air and Space Museum. And, you know, I was a little science kid. So for me, yeah, it's kind of a dream come true to be involved in something so cool. And for Davis, he's hoping his invention can create jobs in the Flathead Valley. He plans on having the rocket assembled locally. Having a factory that uses 3D printers and makes rockets would just be great. We can pipeline people in from the colleges, from the local community. Davis says he hopes to have the final and complete version of the rocket done within the next three years. In Whitefish, Marin Sioux, MTN News. Well, Davis and Stegman will continue testing on their second prototype later this year.